At some point in our lives, we begin to think about our legacy. Some people don't think about it until the moment they appear to be leaving this world, with some testifying to being in the presence of a being of light, who asks, What do you have to show me that you've done with your life? It matters not whether such purported paranormal experiences are verifiable, because for those who claim to have experienced it, the important element is the acute interest they come back with in leaving a legacy of goodness. A quotation, generally credited to Quaker missionary Stephen Grillet, captures the heart of this concern for leaving a good legacy. I expect to pass through this world but once. Any good thing, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness I can show to any fellow human being, let me do it now. Let me not defer nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. The founder of the Boy Scouts, British Army officer Robert Stephenson Smith Baden Powell, was of similar thought. After his passing, a letter was found in his desk that he had written to all scouts. It included this passage. Happiness does not come from being rich, nor merely being successful in your career, nor by self-indulgence. The real way to get happiness is by giving out happiness to other people. Try and leave this world a little better than you found it. And when your turn comes to die, you can die happy in feeling that, at any rate, you have not wasted your time, but have done your best. With legacy in mind, if we look around our country with eyes wide open, when we consider the poverty that has never been relieved, the working people who work really hard and have little to show for it, the devastation that has been inflicted on middle-class life in America, the enormous public and private debt, the loss of America's once mighty industry. In short, if we look at America's frightening degeneration over the past four or five decades and look ahead to the clear road to third world status if current trends continue, we might be prompted to ask ourselves if this is the legacy we want to leave. According to Ross Perot, We are leaving our children and grandchildren with a burden they cannot possibly manage. It is our responsibility to pass along a better, stronger country to our children, and we must start immediately. According to David Walker, former Comptroller General of the United States, This is not just about numbers. We are mortgaging the future of our children and grandchildren at record rates, and that is not only an issue of fiscal irresponsibility, it's an issue of immorality. President Franklin Roosevelt, in the depths of the Great Depression, resorted to deficit spending with borrowed money because he was convinced, given the immediate political situation, it was necessary for the common good of the nation. Even still, he had reservations about the notion of borrowing from the future, believing it to be almost dishonest. Most of you know, and to your credit, accept the reality that structural changes must be made to entitlement programs, most notably Social Security and Medicare. But wisely, most of you don't trust the politicians from either political party to make those changes in a way that there's fair, shared sacrifice from everyone in the population so that no one gets hurt or takes the brunt of the sacrifice. In order to make the changes that must be made, millions of citizens are going to have to create a third choice. Millions of citizens concerned about the common good of the nation and not just their own welfare are going to have to be the real change we all can believe in. And America's senior citizens must play an important role in helping to create that third choice from which genuine leadership can emerge. With the ever-deteriorating financial situation of our country, if we don't put an end to political gamesmanship and support and elect genuine leadership, an awful lot of Americans are going to be hurt very badly. Your two wise have been around too long 
have been through too many election cycles hearing the same old tired rhetoric and have had too much experience with shady con artists to pay any attention to these politicians who are an insult to both your experience and your intelligence. Your valuable experience must be brought to bear in helping to create a third choice for America. To that end, we seriously hope you consider affiliation with a budding mass movement for the common good. Under the auspices of Citizens for the Common Good, consider making a pledge to a future citizen presidential candidate of $25 or more and get a Citizens for the Common Good yard sign, bumper sticker, or button to let your community know there's a third choice blossoming in America. On behalf of Citizens for the Common Good, we hope you decide to join with us because America needs a third choice.